Okay, today we're going to be talking about factoring trinomials a little bit more. This time a, the number in front of x squared, is not going to be 1. And we're going to use a technique called the star method to do this. Uh, one of the first things to be aware of and to, and to look for is always... Look for the GCF greatest common factor and factor it out if there is one before using the star method. star method. That's that's important. So always look for it. Anytime you can make the number smaller, it's going to make your life easier. And just in general, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So always look for the GCF first. Okay, so let's let's do a problem. Let's actually use the star method with this. So um, let's do 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Okay, so first, first uh, we've got to look at this. We've got to figure out what a, b, and c are. And so in this case, a equals 2. So step 1 is to, here we go. Step 1 uh, from the trinomial list a, b, and c. So a is going to equal 2 in this case. b is going to equal 3 and c is going to equal negative 5. So that's the first step. Okay, the second step is we're going to plug these into the star. So we're going to make our little template right here. a always goes over here, just like it shows up here. a goes over here. a c goes on the top, which means a times c. And then B goes down here. So let's plug in what we have here. So we know that A is 2. So I'm going to put a 2 here. And I'm going to put a 2 here. Uh, A times C. Uh, so A 2 times negative uh, 5 is negative 10. And then B is 3. Okay. So now the next step is it's going to be similar to what we were doing when a was 1, except this time the two numbers multiply to get ac and add to get b. So in this case, we want, them, we want to figure out what two numbers are going to add to equal 3 and multiply to equal negative 10. So this is, again, a lot like what we had just done. Um, so if we think about this, uh, the numbers are going to be 5 and negative 2. So 5 plus negative 2 equals 3. 5 times negative 2 equals negative 10. So now we're going to plug these into our template. I'm going to go ahead just for our purposes and rewrite what we rewrite the star just so you can see step by step. Uh, so this is going to be our 2, our 2, our negative 10, and our 3. Now we're going to plug these numbers into here. It doesn't matter where you put them. Just put one here. So I'm going to put a 5 here, and I'm going to put a negative 2 right there. Okay, so that was step 4. For step 5, it says reduce each fraction if you can. So if we look at this 2, 5, I cannot reduce that. But I can reduce this one over here. So this is going to reduce to 1 over negative 1. Go ahead and you does need, does need to stay as a fraction. Okay, now step 6 says to, uh, here, actually let's label these. Let's label all these steps here. So this was step 1. This was step two, 
That was step three. This is step four. Uh, reducing the fraction is actually step five. So let's put a five around that just for because it's step five. Okay, and now for six. Now we're going to write these. The number on top is what goes with the x, and the number on the bottom goes behind it. So the way we're going to do this is this becomes, let me find a color that works. So that becomes our 2x, and then this becomes plus 5. So that's where each binomial comes from. So we're going to do the same thing with the other one. So this, this becomes just 1. I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 there just so you know where it is. So 1x, and then here is our minus 1. And so this is our answer right here. So this is step six. Whoops, let me put that in green. That's our step six. And so there is our answer. Step seven is to check it using the, uh, using the distributive property. So for seven, we're going to have 2x plus 5 times x minus 1, 2x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 5. Combine our like terms, we get 2x squared plus 3x minus 5, which is what we started with, so we know that we got it right. Okay, so, oops, sorry, I didn't realize that you couldn't see what I was just doing here. So we just, we just did the check. Uh, remember that unless it's prime, that it can be factored into two binomials, unless the trinomial is prime. Um, so let's go, let's do another problem. Let's do this one right here. Let's do 5x squared minus 13x plus 6. And so we'll call this example 2 maybe. And this is going to be 5x squared minus 13x plus 6. Okay, so let's make our star. Again, this is our A, and this is A. This is AC, and this is B. It's a good idea to put those every time you use it, just so that you remember where they go. Um, A is... A equals 5, so we're going to have a 5 here and a 5 here. B equals negative 13, so we're going to have a negative 13 right there. And C equals 6, and uh, 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, so in this case, we're trying to figure out what two numbers are going to add to get 13 and multiply to get 30. And negative 3 plus negative 10 equals negative 13. Negative 3 times negative 10 equals positive 30. So let's plug in what we have here. So we'll just put a negative 3 in one place and a negative 10 in the other. Then if we can reduce it, we need to reduce it. We cannot reduce this. Don't forget our x is going to end up going with that one. Uh, we can reduce this one, though. So 5, this is going to be 1 over negative 2. And so that's our reduced fraction. Remember, the x goes on the top. So we end up with 5x minus 3, because it's a negative 3, times x minus 2, because it's a negative 2. And there you go. So let's do a quick little check. Um, just multiply it out. We end up with 5x squared minus 10x minus 3x plus 6. And our 5x squared minus 13x plus 6. So it did work. I'm going to do two more examples in the next little segment.